Okay, welcome everybody to this coffee lecture today. My name is Andy Miller and I work as subject specialist for the ETH library. Uh, the title of today's lesson is Using Mendeley for Collaboration. I would like to inform you that this coffee lecture is recorded and will be available on, the, on our ETH library website. If you have any questions, please ask at the end. You might know Mendeley primarily as a literature management system to manage and organize your references. However, Mendeley is also a great tool for collaborating and sharing documents with other people. I will show you this in the next minutes. In this coffee lecture, the goals are to know and to learn how to create groups for collaboration with other researchers and how to share your references with colleagues. As you may know, collaborations in reference management systems generally take place via online cloud. This means everyone involved in collaborating with Mendeley needs a Mendeley online account. Such an account is free of charge and can be easily created using the web page of mendeley.com. Uh, I like on this slide here. Well, in case you have never used Mendeley, on this slide, you see the main view of your Mendeley reference manager with three sub windows. Um, in the middle, in red, you have the column with all the references and documents that you have stored in your library. So here, uh, here, here are all the documents that you have stored in your library. Um, on the right hand side, we have the column with the metadata per selected article. And on the left hand side, you can manage and organize your literature in your library. And most important for today's topic, here, here you can create groups. A group consists on the one hand of these people that you like to cooperate with. And on the other hand, a group is the folder with your references that you would like to share. Depending, depending on the used Mendeley business model, the group properties are different. As you can see with the subscription model, um, you have more possibilities than with the free Mendeley version here on the right, uh, on the left. As an ETH member, you can benefit uh, from the powerful subscription model, um, which is called Mendeley Institutional Edition. So let's go directly now into the live mode with a concrete view in Mendeley. And now I have to change to Mendeley. Do you see the Mendeley now? I think no uh, answer is good answer. So, um, so let's create First, on the left-hand side, where you can organize your library, let's create first here under the groups, a new group. Uh, move for that your mouse on the new group and give a name, like for instance, now the test and press enter. 
and then you have created to cr the group that you want to share with other. Let's now add references into this group, which you see the, the, the test group is totally empty now, but we want to, sh uh, to have documents within this group now and to share them. So let's, um, let's select some papers or some documents that I would like to have in my test group. And for that, I have to select all these uh, documents that I would like to have, for instance, uh, this one as, as well. And then um, you have to go here on organize and um, sorry, uh, 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 I'm in the collection, sorry about that. Again, I collect, I select all the references I would like, and now I go to organize. And again, it's, I don't know why, but well, you can also, in if you only take one document, then you can also uh, drag and drop it into our group. So now let's, uh, for instance, drag and drop two documents in our group. And now we have it, these two documents in our test group. The next step after we have added now the documents into our group, we would like to invite people to this group um, that uh, can cooperate with me and uh, use the, this literature in this group. For that, it's very easy. Uh, you go to these three dots here and go to manage group. And now you can invite members um, and give the email address. I make an example, Andy Muller at gmail.com and uh, so you can um, invite more than or 100 people and um, they they will get an email and have to accept the invitation and then they can use this uh, test folder with all the literature here um, to to change or to see, to have a control about our, about our group, we have to go to the group. I take an example, Evia Sammlung as um, a group of me, and then I can go to manage group and I will see in this, uh, when I do it like this, I can see who are the members of my uh, group. And um, if I would like to also give, uh, for instance, Agnese Quadri uh, more rights, I can promote her to be an admin. I will not do this right now for this group. And I go, mm, sorry, I go back now, yeah. So, okay, do you, do you see still the Mendeley now? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, and um, so for the live demonstration, how it works to create and invite people and or create groups and invite people or in Mendeley. So for this, uh, as I said, the live demonstration and towards the end of this presentation, I briefly would like to show you a compar comparison between Mendeley and the well-known literature management system EndNote in terms of collaboration. For that, uh, let's quickly switch back to the PowerPoint. So I have to go back now. And hopefully this works. 
Does it work? Do you see now? Do you see the PowerPoint now? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, then here we go with this uh, uh, comparison between Mendeley and EndNote. Uh, on the left, we see a collaboration scheme for Mendeley here. And um, on the right, we see a sharing scheme for the EndNote. We see that Mendeley in terms of uh, collaboration and cooperation, we see that Mendeley performs very well. In fact, there is one important ad advantage of Mendeley over um, EndNote. In Mendeley, it is possible to share references and PDF documents across multiple cloud groups, like you see here. Here is my Mendeley library, and I can share my library with different groups over the cloud. And this is not the case in EndNote. In EndNote, you can share references only in one library via, via one online cloud. So uh, you have only one library and you cannot uh, specify um, special topics for a special group. So you, you have to share the entire library to a group. So with this comparison, I'm at the end already of my presentation. I don't know, uh, is the time, uh, 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 well, it, I think, I hope it's okay. Um, I'm at the end of my presentation and I hope that I could give you a short overview about uh, how you can collaborate with your colleagues using Mendeley. So before you can ask questions, I would like to draw your attention to the next coffee lecture, which takes place in one week um, on finding open publications beyond search engines.